This week in the news, Halloween is here and in full swing. On top of the Halloween content, ReadingNet adds new achievements, jumping puzzles, and more. COT Podcast does its first live show, and as well as new writing guides and character stories. COT Weekly starts now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to COT Weekly. I'm Lagwin. And I'm Casey. It's holla, hello, it's candy day! That's right, Halloween has finally arrived in Tyria, as we mentioned last week. Halloween is arriving in four acts, and as of this recording, Act 1 and Act 2 has gone live. For those of you who are worried that be, you wouldn't be able to complete Act 1 before the second act launched, Anthony Orden, an ArenaNet employee, confirmed that Act 1 will be available until the end. For those of you looking to run through Act 1, Wooden Potatoes has released a video tutorial showing how to complete Act 1's content. Pumpkin carving is something that was added for Halloween event, and for those who are looking to complete the Master Carver achievement, Anthony Orden from ArenaNet may have something to help you out. He stated that 30 carving pumpkins can be found in the following areas. Lion's Arch, Queensdale, Gundaran Fields, Metrica Province, Wayfarer Foothills, Caledon Forest, and the Plains of Ashford. In today's Act 2 update, aside from the continuation of the Mad King lore scavenger hunt, ArenaNet finally gave us access to the Mad Realm. By entering the Mad Realm, there are several different activities you can participate in. There's the Clock Tower, which is also tied to an achievement. It's a jumping puzzle with a different mechanic than any other jumping puzzle previously released that makes it challenging, but also very frustrating. Uh, the Reaper's Rumble, which is an 8 on 8 PvP game based on capturing points and killing, killing enemy players in a Dota style fashion. Uh, the Lunatic Inquisition, which is also similar, another multiplayer game where you take sides as either the citizens of the Mad King or his Reapers and you switch sides when you die. And the Labyrinth, this is Halloween themed PvE content, difficult or more difficult than previous rele previously released content, but it also ties directly to the Halloween events completed title. ArenaNet has also released the time of the start of Act 3, which will be taking place at 12pm Pacific Standard Time on Sunday the 28th. This is also supposed to be when the Man King will make his dazzling appearance in Lion's Arch. Anthony Orden also mentioned that there is no achievement tied to the beginning of Act 3, but he highly recommends, highly recommends that you try and make it. This alleviated players' worries of not being able to get to the attend the party achievement. In regards to Halloween content, an ArenaNet dev also confirmed the new content is released in phases that is separate from any build updates. So keep an eye on what's going on around Tyria as the arrival of the Mad King approaches. Also, on top of the Halloween update, ArenaNet has added new jumping puzzles, new explorer achievements, as well as the addition of karma for completing your daily and monthly achievements. They have also added in karma as a reward for completing, uh, for completing the different explorable paths of dungeons. This also led to ArenaNet dev Robert Hiroda to say, We're in the process of working on loot drops right now for dungeons, leading us to believe that they will be adding more than just dungeon tokens to the chest at the end. And that's it for official ArenaNet news. And as a quick update, the Tales of Tyria Warrior episode that was supposed to air last Sunday has been pushed to this coming Sunday, the 28th. If you're a Warrior player and you'd like to get in contact with Bridger to be on the show, he can be reached at feedback at talesoftyria.com. On to COT news. Azura writing applications close soon, so make sure you've submitted your entry. Uh, also, a new writing guide from Opera has been released, and Anavri released an update to his character's story. Also, last night, for those of you who don't know, was Chronicles of Tyria podcast's first ever live show. What did you think about that, Casey? I think it was a lot of fun. It was really, really good to dress up in costumes and to be able to communicate with our viewers as we were recording. We'd love to have more than just our fellow COT guildmates come out and view the podcast. Um, but if you do watch it when it comes up on YouTube or on iTunes, just be warned that we did have a bunch of technical difficulties at the start, but hopefully that'll be alleviated and won't be an issue in the future. That's it from us from COT Weekly for this week. Have a happy and safe Halloween, everyone. Stay classy, Tyria. <laughs>